Hello, everybody. Welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. I am Dr. Truett Wagner. I just want to take a moment to thank you all for watching our show. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is the last show of the winter season. Well, depending on when you're seeing it, because most of you know the show is seen here in New York City, and therefore it will be the last show of this season. But if you're watching it on YouTube, well, you can see it anytime. And uh, I wanted to introduce this guest. He is amazing. It's, it's great that we're wrapping up a season with such a very special guest. His name is Larry Schmidt. He's also known as Wheels. That's it, just Wheels. <laughs> and he is a rapper, a very successful rapper. He first gained recognition uh, putting together Ryan's Day, which is a day to benefit Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And he has worked with none other than Ludacris and Snoop Dogg. So you all enjoy this episode and learn from this very, very special and motivated young man. We, what do I call you? Larry Wheels? What? 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 what you, well, you can call me Wheels. But now, when did you decide to tell your story? I, I would probably say I was about. 15 years old, and I was listening to a lot of Tupac, you know, like every day, that's like my idol. And, you know, I was seeing how he was telling his story, you know, and reaching everyone within impacting in a major way. So I wanted to do the same thing and let people know, my, hear my, my story, because everybody has a story to be told. When I was younger, about seven years old, I was flipping through radio stations in my mom's car and I went like to a rap station. I was like, man, I like this. This is, this is real nice. So, you know, later on in life, I was like, man, I love to rap and see how they do it because I, I've never had a clue how to rap in the beginning. You know, I had a lot of homework that I had to you know, look over to get where I'm at today. In Texas, we have a car show called the Texas Heat Wave, and I usually um, perform every year. And luckily, I was performing that year in front of um, the hot mess guy, um, and he and his son were watching me perform, and they were like, hey, how would you like to open up for Snoop Dogg and Ludacris? I was like, wow, that that would be a dream. So, you know, it, I wasn't thinking it was real, but then, you know, at the time, you know, they told me to come up there and see the stage and everything. And it, it was a big, a big stage, you know, a big venue, so. You know, I was really excited to have the opportunity to, you know, perform, you know, on the same stage as Snoop Dogg and Ludacris. When I was actually at the Texas Heat Wave, I met this lady named Grace, and she owns her own production company. And I got with her and me and my mom, and we first had Ryan's Day at a park. We, we only had probably about 30 people, and raised about 800 and now um, that we're doing going on the 12th year and um, still going strong and you know trying to raise as much awareness as we can you know for us boys with the sin muscular dystrophy because there's no cure right now so right. you know Ryan they is helping me raise money and awareness you know to try to find that cure and help out everyone and that people, you know, know about Ryan's Day. And eventually, it just grew and grew over, over the years, and we're able to get local bands to play and, you know, come out and support us. So, you know, it kind of started out slow at a park and then ended up, you know, we're making at least 10000 now for research, so. Quick question, though, getting back to Ryan's Day. Your name is Larry Smith. Your, your stage name is Wheels the Rapper, so you have people call you Wheels. What is yeah. Ryan's, what, what Ryan's Day? Where, where's Ryan's Day? 
Well, um, why not like back in the day, our wheels day? <laughs> yeah. Well, like back then, my mom, you know, she always said she wanted a son named Ryan, and my dad said I could be named Ryan, but it has to be my middle name, and will call me by Ryan. But then Larry has to be his first name, so you know, parents are crazy sometimes, but. You know, that's where it comes from. I actually right. go by Ryan and not Larry, but, you know, I'm not able to put Ryan on Facebook for some reason. But, you know, that's where that comes from. But, you know, between Larry, Schmidt, and Wills, there's really not a difference. I'm really the same guy. But right. the other guy just is more confident, you know, in rapping and going out there and telling and speaking the truth. Now you're on record as saying that that you're already you've already beat the odds. Now what did you mean by by that when you said you've already beat the odds? Well, a lot of people that have the shin muscular dystrophy, it messes you know with all your muscles and you're lacking protein. You don't have any protein, so your muscles are just deteriorating, you know, slowly. And before, you know, all these new medication, new stuff they have nowadays to help people. You know, kids were only making it to 18, 17, and, you know, doctors told me I wouldn't make it to my 20s, and I'm almost 30 now, I'm 29. Wow. And, you know, that's what I mean by I'm being the eyes, you know, I'm still living. And, you know, start passing, you know, a lot of challenges and obstacles in my life. So, you know, um, that's where it kind of comes from. But, you know, because I've had to, you know, get a trade, get a feeding too, because all my muscles are getting weak. And, you know, I do have an enlarged heart, you know, because of this disease. And, you know, it's not 100% good but you know it's still beating so that's all I um, am very thankful for I feel like I have a obligation to, to be fearless you know to keep pushing on and stay strong because you know you won't make it in this life if you're scared of every little thing so you know you can't really worry about it you just gotta live your life one day at a time mm -hmm. and you know you know I I, I don't I think I'm always fearless, but, you know, for the most part, you know, I'm more brave than anything. You know, I try to, you know, just keep going because, you know, you only have one life to live. So, you know, you might as well, well you know, t you know, live, live on the edge, you know, and just do stuff that you probably wouldn't do, you know, and just live life. Again, I do want to say thank you for taking this time to be with us. I really did enjoy everything I got to read and all your videos and music. And you're going to do great things. I can feel it. You're going to do great things. So yeah, it's coming. I feel it. <laughs> Good things are coming. So it's a matter of time.